Hello everyone, this is Diana Kim, Criminal Justice Librarian, and in this video I'm going to introduce you to many of the resources that you have available to you um, on the Newton Gresham Library website. So first, to get here, all you have to do is type library.shsu.edu into your browser and it'll take you to this main homepage. The first feature I want to point out is this Ask a Librarian orange button here on the right hand side of the screen. If you open that you'll see this takes you to our online chat and if you have a question that you would like an immediate response to this is the best way to do that. You can simply ask your question there in the box hit start chat and that will connect you with someone in the library. Um, you can ask ref reference questions or re if you have a question about the research you're doing or if you're having trouble connecting to something. There's pretty much nothing that we can't respond to um, within the chat so definitely use that if you are um, in need of a quick response. And then the majority of um, the resources that you'll have available to you happen sort of down here in the middle of the screen. And you'll see three broad tabs, Engine Orange here in blue, Books and Media, and Articles and More. Engine Orange is our combined database, so it combines um, many of the resources all into one place. Um, and all you have to do here is click this Engine Orange button and it brings up the search bars here. Engine Orange um, will connect you with lots of our library resources including scholarly articles, um, video content, newspapers, um, trade publications, government documents, popular magazines. It's just a lot of our online materials. Um, so you may be thinking to yourself, well great if it combines sort of all of these things all at once I can do all my research here. Um, that's true to some extent, but with regard to scholarly articles specifically, we have some of our articles um, in databases owned by companies that don't communicate very well with this platform. So for CJ, unfortunately, there is one major database in CJ that does not communicate well with Engine Orange, and I'll show you that one in just a minute. So while this is a great place to do the majority of your research, it's also, if you're looking for scholarly articles specifically, it's also a good idea to consult with some of our subject specific databases as well. And I'll show you those in just a moment. Now we were looking over at this books and media tab. Again, um, because our books and our media content, which is our videos, and our um, documentary films, things of that nature, most of them are combined into Engine Orange. This tab is nearly obsolete, and so I wouldn't even bother using that one when you can get to it pretty much from Engine Orange. But however, um, Articles and More, which is this third tab, that's where we have all of our databases by subject and sort of a convenient place. And so you'll see here, if you um, kind of scroll down, you'll see Criminal Justice here. If I click on that, that takes me to the Criminal Justice Research Guide. And um, it has a lot of the best bet, if you will, databases for criminal justice research sort of all in one place at your fingertips. So what I was talking about a little bit earlier with regard to Engine Orange not communicating with some of our databases, the, the database I was referring to specifically is this ProQuest criminal justice one. I would say that primarily the majority of students search in criminal justice abstracts or ProQuest criminal justice when they're doing their um, CJ research. And so if you were to use Engine Orange by itself, you would miss quite a bit of materials that are also um, available in ProQuest. So I always tell the criminal justice researchers to look in both of those. You can use Engine Orange, but also definitely come over here to this criminal justice research guide and take a look at our the ProQuest materials as well. Um, but you can see when I open these up, I mean, it has a very similar look to it with the multiple bars um, here that you can um, put your, your um, research terms in. Same thing with criminal justice over here. Um, if I expand this out into advanced search, again, same idea with the um, search bars. So um, we're going to go back now to the home page and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about some of the other features on the website as well. If you scroll down just below our three um, 
tabs, you'll see something here called Research Guides. If you open that again, you'll see um, those um, databases or the research guides by subject like we saw on that other page. But I want to point out specifically this how-to guides on the first line here. If you open that, you'll see that we've created 45 different guides that show you how to do all kinds of things. Um, and I'm not going to go through all of these today. I'm just going to highlight a couple of them that I think are pretty important and that you might find to be useful for you. The first one is citing sources in APA. This is um, some information about how to cite an, um, an APA. There's also um, links to handouts that the Academic Success Center has created. So um, that's one place that I think might be helpful to you. And then if I scroll down just a little bit farther here, there is a link to how to evaluate research sources. Now we know when we're searching within our library databases, especially when we're looking at scholarly articles, that those types of information sources are reliable. But what about if you're on the internet looking at information there, which for many classes, you know, you, you certainly could be doing. Sometimes it's difficult to decide whether or not the items that you're looking at on the internet are credible or reliable or even something that you should be considering um, use for in your, your academic papers. This research guide will help you go through the process of figuring out what sources are valid for your research. And so there's just a lot of good information on this particular page. So I wanted to, to point that out to you. So if you're ever in a position where you're trying to make those determinations, definitely consult this guide. And then finally, as we scroll down towards the bottom here, we have this user services how-to. This really is an overview of how to do a lot of things that are library related, not just like do as far as our research, what I was talking about a little bit ago, but also just reserving a room or checking out a book or using interlibrary loan to um, request materials from other libraries, things of that nature. It's all sort of right here in a one, you know, one-stop shop for how to do library things. And so I think it's a handy um, guide to consult. And you, close, you can see here as we kind of scroll back up, there's lots of other things here. Here's some more information about interlibrary loan, for example. Um, so there's a lot of other things that you might find useful. Um, so if you are, you know, ever have a question or um, are interested, definitely come back and take a look at a little more closely at some of the things that we have here. But a lot of folks don't realize that we've created all these how-to guides, um, and so I wanted to point them out that they're there and they're, they they can be very helpful depending on um, what it is that you're 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 doing. So back to our um, research or the homepage of the library. Essentially that's about it. Those are the main things. You'll see over here on the right hand side there's this library banner that has a number of drop downs. Most of the information in these areas here are contained in some of these other areas. It's just sort of like we have more than one way to get at the same materials. Um, but pretty much everything that I've showed you um, in the center part of the page is um, what the majority of the students need for completing assignments, working on research papers, and things of that nature. So um, if you have any questions for me, definitely reach out. You can get my contact information again by going to this article, this Articles and More tab and clicking on Criminal Justice. And you'll see my contact information here. You can definitely give me a call or email me or even schedule an appointment if you'd like to schedule some time with me. Um, all right. Thank you very much. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.